What's good to my beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. It's your girl Miss Sis and I'm back with another video. So happy new year to everyone. I know I've been ghosts <laughs> as per usual. It's, it's just terrible at this point but if you're new to the channel and you do love makeup content and a little bit of lifestyle and vlogs and make sure you do subscribe. I really appreciate it and make sure you put your post notifications onto all so you never miss any uploads and with that further ado let's get right into the video. My way to try to get back you know how to film YouTube videos it's just sitting down and doing a full face of makeup as per so I'm gonna pretty much show you guys my favorite makeup of 2022 I'm not gonna lie I didn't really expand and explore much in the makeup industry and I feel like a lot of people feel the same but you know I'm a creature of habit I stick to what I know as per usual all start with my brows off camera because that's just long and very boring so is what it is. So I've already moisturized my face but the primer that has got me in a chokehold is this e.l.f. one. Now this has only crept up recently. Obviously you guys know that I love my Milk Hydro Grip but if you guys want a cheaper alternative to the Milk Hydro, Milk Hydro Grip primer this is literally a really good dupe. I will probably say the only difference is probably the consistency like I feel like this has more grip and it's not as fluid as the milk one even though the milk one is not like a runny consistency but you can tell with this one like when she means grip she means <laughs> grip okay and then what I like to go in with is a little bit of translucent powder just to set my primer and also to minimize any like textures and pores girl do i even have the brush obviously my laura messier translucent powder is bae like let's be real so i like to just set it in the areas around here but anyway guys how have you lot been um i know i've been missing for a while and one of my goals for this year that i really want to get back being consistent on youtube at least post like a video once a week um, but if you do not follow me, make sure you follow me on Instagram and especially TikTok because I have been heavily focused on TikTok recently and it's just more fun and light work and it's easier to post content. So make sure you do check that out and if not, if you're proper a YouTube babe or G from day one and you're not really into like Instagram and TikTok, I'm going to be posting more content like regularly on my YouTube shorts. But anyway, foundation. The Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I can't put her down. Like, I am more of a skin tint type of person. I like the whole less is more clean makeup. But this foundation literally just gives me life. Like, the shade match is actually pretty much on point. Um, even though it's classed as 16 cool, as you can see girl, it ain't cool. Okay, I'm gonna touch up on my brows later because my brows are looking a little bit wild. Okay, so that's foundation done. What a concealer there, right there, right there. Okay, so this concealer, some people don't like it, some people like it, I love it. And it is the Huda Beauty Full Filter Concealer. Honestly, for me, I just feel like this concealer is better than the overachiever one. Especially if you're a little bit like myself when it comes to makeup and you like natural, natural skin makeup and you don't really necessarily need or want full coverage. I feel like this is the girl for you. I personally don't experience any creasing, weirdly enough, with this concealer. And I just feel like the coverage and the way it blends is a dream girl like she does it for me and this is in the shade 73 point no 73.3 yeah 7.3 g salted caramel but in the meanwhile whilst that's drying and i think i picked the wrong one again but the made by mitchell blush like guys honestly when it comes to made by mitchell's blush formulas the blushes the bronzers anything in this component it's just life and you guys know, and you're probably sick to death of me using this, but this is literally the best cream, the best cream product ever. Like it melts 
into the skin sis I mean into the skin to the point that it doesn't even look like you applied makeup products on your face uh, if it's actually not this one I really do love the if it's not this one, I really do love the Anastasia Baby Hills um, bronzer as well. The shade that I use for Maybelline Mitchell is in the shade Shade and Late. No, who did who does she thought of me? You know, when she was at her desk in headquarters with her team and her little notepad. Yeah, she she thought of me. This is like my favorite part of makeup, like doing this. gosh you know what guys I actually forgot to use my elf this is another product that I absolutely love I always pull it under my foundation see that's just that just goes to show that I'm not with it when it comes to filming YouTube videos like but yeah the elf halo glow um filter definitely I personally really like her and gives me light coverage and this beautiful healthy glow to the skin and then for the days that I don't wear makeup, well, don't wear foundation, I would just use like a pressed powder on top. Backside, I can't believe I forgot to use that. My backs. Once again, when it comes to cream blushes or blushes, may listen, <laughs> maybe by Mitchell is gonna take all my money. Like, so I'm gonna mix a little bit of papaya pudding and a shy boy. You guys know that a shy boy is literally like my favorite shade. This blush actually converted me to wear pink blushes they just you get multi-purpose uses out of them like you can use them on the lips the eyes the face like honestly just added a little bit of where's the spf okay so now we are heavily blushed i'm gonna apply some powder products now so obviously i pretty much say all the damn tap the laura messier powder Forever. We don't even need to get into the discussion because we know this. But this obviously didn't come out in 2022, but I've gone back to be loving this powder from Huda Beauty. Um, this is an easy baked powder. This is in the shade Kunafa. And girl, when I say it's just a no, it's just a formula for me. Um, this brush because sometimes I do get comments about my brushes. This brush is particularly from EIG Show, uh, and it's just like a pointy teardrop brush. I personally like to use it when I apply my powders because it gets really up in there. <laughs> all up in there now to set my bronzer um i like to go for more of like a contour shade but this shade in particular from fenty beauty in the shade thick mint i'm surprised i have not hit pan because i use this all the damn time that's why she's so grubby but i think i'm gonna go in with um the made by mitchell he came up with these new um pressed blushes last year as well and this is in the shade ready or not it's meant to correspond with shade and laid However, when you do swatch it, I can't ever lie, like, it doesn't really look, like, you can't even see down my damn hand. Like, it doesn't look like it's giving. Like, I'm not gonna lie. So, I do want to get the darker shade, but for some reason, when I apply it on top of my bronzer, it does a little something, something. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go into the shade Ready or Not, and this, like, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? No, you can't. Like, it does a little something, but I think I'm going to go in the shade darker. I am going to use a little bit of my Fit Mint. I'm not going to lie, because she just gives me life. She's not cool tone. She's, like, neutral, but she does, like, contour. She just does something. She does a little something, something for the girl. I don't know what it is, but I do prefer to apply, like, a powder bronzer than, like, liquid products on my nose. Whenever I apply... A cream product on my nose I feel like I over contour my nose and I don't want to change the shape of my nose but I just want my face to look uniformed if that makes sense so now I'm gonna add some powder blush her blushes are insane I don't know what it is but it's like it's like a satin formula and it just really melts it doesn't give you that powder look or feel on the skin like are you dumb do you see that no stop it she's expensive but she does she does it for me i've got a glitter on my face oh yeah pat mcgrath blush like it's just been my favorite combination to apply those two shades of cream blushes and then this on top mm-hmm 
Oh, sorry. This is in the shade Electric Bloom as well. Obviously, I'm going to have to add extra powder. <laughs> especially under the eyes you guys know this already this will never change i can't lie the rimmel kind of free that came out with this um skin tint that powder which i've done a video on it before that is really really nice as well but charlotte tilby just always wins my heart when it comes to this add a little bit of reverse contouring here okay so i think i'm gonna do a little something something on the eyes today now usually i would just use like a primer but to be fair ciao ain't got no time you ain't got time for gonna look for no um primer so i'm just gonna use the same concealer that i used earlier because i'm i'm gonna do something quick and simple like let's be real <laughs> we ain't going nowhere <laughs> we ain't going outside the plastic boy in collaboration with revolution his palette it's just my hands are dirty mm -mm, no shame like his palette i've literally used it all the damn time i use it to do a wing liner i use it for blushes i use it for the eyes i use it for everything and i can't lie like this is just my type of palette like got my go-to colors that i love to play around with and it's just easy and it just doesn't overcomplicate my mind so i'm just gonna do like a simple look i think i'm gonna go in the shade mm, i'm gonna go in the shade plastics which is the shade here on the eyes we're gonna do something quick i'm only gonna do one eye on camera and then just to save time also my battery is deciding to die on me for some weird reason <laughs> funny that and just to blow out that crease color i like to go in with the shade babes it's just like a nice new no buddy Shame. Babes and body. Yes. We're going to go in the shade. Babes and body. And just clean up hair. Oh my gosh. I definitely need to do my eyebrows. <gasps> Later. So back on the first brush. I'm going to go in the shade Slip and Slay. Which is a very nice dark cool tone brown. So if you don't want to use black. This shade. Like. Yeah. I feel like this is very similar to the first look that I done. When I reviewed this palette. <laughs> And then on the eyelids, I've been really loving this matte look, like no shimmer. So I'm going to use the shade, mm, maybe what in the world, and apply that on thy lid. Okay, so this is the eye semi done. I know it looks proper messy in it. <laughs> no shame. Okay, it looks really messy, but I'm going to, I'm going to fix myself up. But yeah. That is the eye semi done. I'm gonna do the rest of my eyes, apply some lashes, and then we can go back onto the face and the lips, and then we're done. <laughs> okay, so the eyes are done, lashes are on. I think these are the style Jasmine from Doe Beauty. Usually I get my lashes from Doe Beauty, like Doe Beauty's got me in a chokehold when it comes to lashes. So that is done. Um, so I'm gonna apply a little bit of powder. Even though my skin is so dry, it actually doesn't need any more powder, but I have to shout out to once again Huda Beauty in the Glowish brand. Um, this is the Press Luminous Press Powder in the shade 12 Rich. As you can see, I've hit pan. When I say when I have my no makeup days, yeah, that girl, the elf, and then set it with that. <laughs> Nobody can have a chat for you, yes. So I like to just uh, go over look at areas here and there and whatever because i've got really my eyes i do love to go with a highlighter every now and again but yeah once again the plastic boy um his highlighter i absolutely love the revolution splendor highlighters you guys know i rave about them all the time but this highlighter in particular like look at the shade so soft and like so pigmented yeah she's just a little bit of me so double tap me send me a double tap e. and just uh apply some on the face oh no like no not no no can we can we just yeah can we just have a moment <laughs> these okay so to be honest when it comes to lips like i'm not really adventurous when it comes to lip products 
Every mama and them father pitney auntie goldfish, yeah, was in a chokehold when it come to the Fenty Beauty heat hot chocolate. My one is so battered and bruised and lived in and is always out of damn stock because ever since it just went viral on TikTok, I can't get a hold of this girl. But listen, when it comes to this gloss, like, look, look, battered. Look like my sword. <laughs> just battered, like, honestly. So, can't really appreciate her at the moment, but when it comes to lipsticks, once again, Gary's lipsticks are just amazing. Um, I really love the darker shade, which is Hazelnut Macchiato. Then we're gonna go on to the lipstick. Like, if you're looking for a perfect nude for dark skin, this is your girl, like. This is, even the almond macchiato, the lighter version of it, it's like the perfect nude for the dark skin people then. Mm -hmm. I mean, as much as this is beautiful, I need a gloss, so. So I'm just gonna use my Revolution one, Shea Brilliant Gloss in the shade, I think this is Head Turner. No, sorry, Muse. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now it's time to set my face. I don't know if you guys know, because obviously I'm always the last one, but Morphe's actually closing all their stores, and I'm really, like, surprised, but not surprised. But if they ever fit to discontinue the spray, me gonna start riot up in here. Like, they better not. So this continuous setting spray, yeah. Ever since I've been using it, it's, like, my favourite go-to. Like, this is bae, so definitely use it. I think it's almost done, you know. Ciao. No wonder why it's almost done. I literally used half of the bottle to us. Okay, guys, so this is the final completed look using my favorite makeup products of 2022. Not necessarily launched in 2022, not all the products, but literally makeup that I've just picked up constantly without any second thought. And once again, this is actually my go-to glam. You guys know how it is. But yeah, I'm gonna leave all the details in the description box below. And I just wanna say quickly before you guys go that I just wanna thank you guys so much for just being patient with me, always supporting me. And even though I haven't been as consistent on YouTube over the last year or so, you guys always seem to come back and leave comments and engage, which really helps and support my channel. And I just wanna say thank you. Like, I love you guys so much for that. I really, really, really do appreciate it. So I'm gonna kick myself up the ass and actually try to like get back into the swing of YouTube and stay consistent because I always have the good intentions to do it, but it's just such hard work like honestly so once again make sure you follow me on tiktok and instagram it's missy.sids and look out for my youtube shorts as well where i'll just post like little makeup hacks tutorials in like 15 to 30 seconds so make sure you guys check that out so thank you so much again and happy new year and i would love to see you guys in my next video bye